On this week's Gadget Show Web TV, John's looking at Goodman's latest FreeSat recorder. I bring you this week's tech news, and Otis gets in the mood with his new iPhone app. Hello and welcome to this week's Web TV. Now, John has always been a really big fan of FreeSat HD because receiving HD channels subscription free can only be a good thing. But the only problem is that some of the set-top boxes haven't really been that good and they couldn't record. But when the latest offering from Goodman's arrived in the office, it looked as if things were set to change. It boasts a 500 gigabyte hard drive capable of storing up to 70 hours worth of HD footage. So we gave it to John for his expert opinion. FreeSat, that's free-to-air digital television by satellite, is a jolly good idea. It's especially useful if you live in an area without cable or without strong digital terrestrial reception. You don't need lots of extra premium channels and therefore you don't fancy paying out lots of money every month on a Sky subscription. Now, the major player in the FreeSat PVR market is Humax, with the 320GB uh, hard drive offering that I uh, reviewed on the Gadget Show's web TV a little while back. But I was quite interested to see that budget brand Goodman's has got in on the act with this, a FreeSat PVR with a 500GB hard drive that's good for an extra 100 hours of recordings in standard definition, a total of 300 hours, no less. It's not something that you're going to be buying for its budget credentials, though, because whereas you can get the Humax box now for just over £200, Goodman's are charging nearly £300 for this. It's also not something I think you're going to buy for its aesthetic properties. It looks a bit like something from the 1980s with these big buttons on the front. There isn't even a display, and although it's quite compact, you have to plug it in with this rather bulky separate adapter. It's very easy to set up. You get an HDMI cable in the box and standby power consumption is impressively low. And once you get it on, the pictures are really quite good. I've compared it with uh, Sky Plus HD box and I found the pictures were, if anything, a little better in high definition with slightly stronger colours. On standard definition, I found them ever so slightly worse. Although the colours were still strong, you tended to get a little more pixelation. I didn't think it handled movement quite so well. And it was the same story on recorded programmes. Slightly better in HD, possibly slightly worse in standard def. But overall, you know, those differences are really very, very small indeed. And I don't think they're enough to affect your overall enjoyment either way. The menus are impressively clear, and it does all the usual sort of PVR functions. You know, you can pause and rewind straight away. A um, few things it doesn't do. You can't get a picture of the TV program you're watching when you're in the TV guide. And I didn't find you could reliably decide to record a whole program when you were in the middle of watching it. It didn't automatically record what was in the buffer. The remote's pretty good, although some of the buttons are rather small and unusually placed, particularly the channel change buttons down there on the bottom right. Unlike the Humex, you can't back up programs you've recorded to an external hard drive at the moment, and also you can't use the Ethernet socket to access the BBC's iPlayer. Overall, though, the Goodman's is a surprisingly impressive FreeSat PVR. It's just a pity it's so much more expensive than its Humax rival, with its proven record in providing software updates and reliability. So, at the moment, unless you are desperately in need of a 500 gigabyte hard drive, it's rather hard to recommend it over the Humax. Right, news time now, and first up, Toshiba has announced the TG02 handset, a capacitive touchscreen Windows phone using the Windows Mobile 6.5 platform. It has a 1 GHz processor, a 4.1 inch VGA screen, and it's only 9.9 millimeters thick. It comes with a newly designed 3D menu system that Toshiba hope will boost the popularity of the handset, claiming it would be the ideal device for web browsing, enabling users to quickly access and load websites or stream content. Even though the TG02 is obviously the successor to the TG01, both phones will be sold side by side with no immediate plans to phase out the earlier model. No UK release price has been announced yet, so keep an eye on our news pages for any further info. Now, you might remember a while back we mentioned that Humax were working on an HD Freeview box. Well, the HD Fox T2 is now available, which is great news for those of you who haven't got a satellite dish but still want to get your HD fix. And it comes in at a reasonable price of £179. The box is the first to be released to the Freeview HD market and will bring free-to-air HD channels to the home. 
The high definition channels available through Freeview HD include the BBC, ITV and shortly Channel 4 and S4C Wales. And of course you can still access the standard deaf free to air channels. The box is also capable of upscaling to 1080p along with a brand new HD EPG. There's also a USB port on board so you can plug in your own content. The only downside is that Freeview HD is currently only available in certain areas of London, but key cities should have access to the service by March this year, including Glasgow, Leeds, Newcastle, Birmingham, Cardiff and Manchester. We're really excited about this, so as soon as we get one in, you can be sure John will be giving it a full review. Otis loves his music, but the only problem he has is choosing what to listen to. Well, it looks like he may have solved this problem with the help from one of the iPhone's latest apps. Now, we all love playlists, but sometimes putting them together can be time consuming and cumbersome. And sometimes, you know, after having the greatest idea of having the world's best playlist, you can sometimes lose the impetus and get a bit bored. That will now all be made a lot easier via this app. It's called Mood Agent. It works on the iPod Touch and the iPhone. And what it does is it allows you to create mood profiles or select from a list of mood profiles. So what we've got here are the five moods. You've got uh, sensual, tender, joy, aggressive, and tempo. Now every track that you own or every track that you've got on your player will be cross-referenced with those and they'll have varying levels. So for instance uh, Foo Fighters will probably be very high on the tempo and the aggression, uh, low or high on the joy depending on what uh, that kind of music brings to you, not very tender, uh, not very sensual either. Um, what, the, what this app does it will then look for tracks that would bring out a similar mood in you or a similar mo mood profile and then add another 24 songs to that playlist. Piece of cake, you don't have to do anything. If um, you want to change your profile, you can go through a pre-selected list or you can actually just move the levels yourself, your sensuality, your tenderness, your joy, aggressiveness or tempo and come up with a completely new playlist. Now, What's great about it is it makes making playlists very easy. Um, also, when you uh, leave the application, it doesn't forget any of your settings, uh, like Spotify, for instance. The only drawback with it is it's limited to your playlist. If, for instance, you could use it on uh, Napster, Sky Songs, or maybe even Spotify, then, of course, you've got millions of tracks at your disposal, and the moods could be endless. I wonder what mood our Dion is in. Dion, come on over. I want to uh, find out what kind of mood you're in so we can find the ideal track to suit your mood. Okay. Yeah? Okay, so tell me about your, um, tell me about your sensuality level. Are you feeling, you feeling sensual? Give me a percentage. Not really, I'm a bit tired. Are you a bit yeah, tired? A bit tired. Okay. What about um, tenderness? Are you feeling tender at all? Well, I did go to the gym yesterday. Uh, not that, not that kind, kind of tender. tender. Yeah. Um, no, not really. Not, not at all. Okay, so that's really low as well. Yeah. Joy? Semi-joyous Sem today. Semi-joyous. Are you feeling aggressive today? You are. Let's just crank that up to 100%. And <laughs> tempo. What kind of tempo music would you like to... I want fast tempo. Fast. The yeah. fastest the tempo? fastest tempo. Fastest I tempo. Okay. I think this this will work for you. Here we okay. go. Sink, sinking up right now. Is that how you feel right now? Yeah. It's called Dyer's Eve by Metallica. Good. Yeah. Choice. Yeah. Let's just for okay. play's sake, yeah. see what would happen if you were feeling extremely sensual, quite tender. Yeah. All right. Let's bring the aggression down. Yeah, bring the aggression down. Let's bring the joy up a little bit as well. Let's see, it's probably going to be a love song or something mm. like that. I was there. Let's, okay, we're syncing up. Now I know when I last synced. Here we go. Can I come up with? Yeah. yeah. Definitely happier, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> blur, blur, not blow, blur, blur my mind. Nightmares on wax. And then there's a song by Gorillaz on there, Starshine. Get yeah, his commitment for that. Yeah. Well, well, considering it was a bit aggressive earlier. Yeah. A bit, you know, yeah. And you know what? It's a free app, so it's definitely worth you know downloading it and having some fun with it. What's it called? Mood it's Agent. Mood Agent. I might uh, go and have a little look. I suggest and you a, do. And a little play. Oh, right, okay. See you there. All right. Bye. 
Well, that's all we've got time for this week, but don't forget to check out Jason's gaming page for his review of the hugely anticipated Heavy Rain game for the PS3. And don't forget to tune in to the main show Monday night at 8 on 5. This week, it's our wild challenge, where all four of our presenters are unceremoniously dumped into the woods, with the challenge of using only tech to evade capture from Special Forces hardman Mike Hawke. Otis also checks out the best music streaming websites with the help from Radio 1 lovely Joe Wiley, and Susie makes a brew with her top five kettles. But from Web TV, we'll see you same time, same place next week.